Hello, and welcome to Runkle of the Bailey. My name is Ian Runkle. I'm a Canadian criminal defense and firearms lawyer. So I've been away for a few days, and I wanted to give you guys a short video just as kind of a status update. So status update on two things. Number one is my health status, because as some of you may be aware, I've had some issues lately. And status update number two is with respect to my Section 74 uh, challenge and the process on that and sort of how that's been going. So first, with respect to the health issues, uh, without getting into things in too much detail, uh, I've been having difficulties in terms of like keeping things down, and those were threatening to send me to the hospital. Uh, thankfully, that seems to be avoided. Uh, I've been given some fairly powerful medication, and it's it looks like I'm going to avoid a hospital stay, but it still hasn't been determined 100% what it is. Uh, the doctor thinks it's probably a lingering complication from a past appendectomy, so we'll have to see. I've got imaging, I've got testing scheduled, uh, but right now the medication has me feeling pretty good, and so I hope to keep to sort of my usual posting schedule of about one video a day, but I may not be able to. We'll have to see. Uh, you know, I, I can't predict what's going to happen here. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up, keep you guys in the loop, just so that, you know, if something does happen, you're aware of what's going on here. Um, if you're thinking, you know, is this COVID? I don't think so. And my doctor doesn't think so. I got a test just to be, uh, you know, just to be sure. But I haven't been ordered into isolation. There's no, uh, there's no sort of known contacts. And my symptoms would be a very unusual presentation if it was, you know, if that's what it was. So probably not covid not sure what it is 100 percent, but right now i'm feeling pretty good i'm not a hundred percent but i'm able to do the things i want to be doing which is nice because one of those things i wanted to be doing is the other thing i wanted to update you on which is that today although by the time you see this video it's almost certainly going to be yesterday uh, we had arguments on the question of whether or not I would be able or allowed to call evidence on the question of whether the provincial court has jurisdiction to hear the ultimate Section 74 issue. And if you're not sort of familiar with this, this is with regards to the letter that was sent out claiming that uh, registration certificates were automatically nullified, which you know, to me sounds like a notice of revocation, but they're saying it's not. So there's going to be disputes over that. That's going to be one of the central questions on this jurisdiction issue. So there, the, uh, the attorney general uh, feels that uh, this should be heard without evidence, except the letter of the registrar, which is of course their evidence. It's their, you know, it's a communication from their side. Uh, my position is that the court needs the full a full, fuller understanding, which includes things like expert evidence. So if we get all of this uh, approved, then there's going to be a, a rather, you know, more lengthy hearing on all of this, but uh, we'll ultimately have to see. Uh, the Attorney General today made arguments, and I made, you know, my own arguments as well. There were other parties who made their arguments. I don't want to sort of tip my hand too much, I will say, uh, I feel like my arguments were the more persuasive ones, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to win. It's, you know, you never really know how things are going to shake out. And it's always easier to feel that your arguments were the more persuasive ones because they're your arguments. So ultimately, we'll have to see how this goes. I don't want to jinx anything. I don't want to sort of, <laughs> and I don't want to give too much away here. But that's sort of what happened today. Now, we don't have a ruling at this point. Uh, the decision has actually been put over until February 16th. This is not surprising. Uh, in a matter like this, again, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. I think that this is a matter that's going to be of national importance and one that very well might end up in front of the Supreme Court of Canada. And so with that in mind, the judge is going to want to be very careful in his reasoning and his approach to things. So I think that the judge is going to take some time to come out with a very well-reasoned, very well-written opinion. Uh, this is a very, uh, very intelligent, very uh, astute judge. And so we'll have to see. 
But uh, the next update on this matter, I expect, uh, will be after the 16th. Uh, hopefully at that point, I'll be able to tell you, you know, yes, I've been able, you know, allowed to call evidence or no, we've been shut down and here's the next steps that are going to be taking place. So that's the uh, the current state of things. As I said, there's a lot of stuff I want to do videos on. So tomorrow I'm going to look into, you know, covering some other issues. Um, I understand there was a negligent discharge with a firearm in uh, in Edmonton police. So I want to talk about that. Uh, there's a bunch of other sort of issues that keep coming up. So thank you for watching. Please like this video. Please share it with your friends. Please subscribe to see more content. I also want to thank my Patreon supporters. I feel like I owe some of them an apology because I've been slow on uh, posting videos, notwithstanding that they've signed up. But uh, at the $50 level, uh, D. Mo, Sir Daniel Wicks of Alberta, Canada's National Firearms Association, and Kyle Martin. And at the $20 level, Cameron Johnson, Kevin Fleet, and Dale Nesbitt. As well as a number of you at the $10 level who will be in the crawl immediately following. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting in the last few days. As I said, I'm going to try to keep back up with sort of my usual posting schedule. I apologize in advance if, you know, if I don't quite make it. But uh, thank you, and I really appreciate you guys. I wanted to make sure that you're in the loop here. Um, thank you once again. And the other news uh, that I will just note really quickly is that uh, Alberta has just made a posting for a job opening for the chief firearms officer so that's uh that's interesting we'll uh we'll leave it there and i'll have more discussion on that in possibly a future video anyway thank you for watching and i hope i've armed you with knowledge